Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. Today I'm going to show you a list of Latafa fragrances, a total of 14 Latafa fragrances that in my opinion are worthy of being checked out, at least at the current time, midway through 2024. Now this list will include some of the older Latafa offerings from a few years ago and some of their more recent releases. So join me in this video today where I showed you 14 Latafa fragrances that are worthy of being checked out. I'm actually going to show you a total of 16 Latafa fragrances and the reason for that is that there are two couples of scents that I'm going to show you today that are very close to each other and the reality is that you can actually just safely pick up just one of the two in the couple that I'm going to show you. So today you're going to see a total of 16 Latafa scents. And the first one that I'm going to show you today will be one of those uh, older releases from the house of Latafa and it's called Sheikh Al Shuk Final Edition. This one is a take on the, uh, the original DNA of YSL White EDP. And to this day, this is probably my most favorite inspiration of Y EDP that I have in my collection. It's not a straight up clone, not a straight up copy. This is more of an inspired by type fragrance. It feels a little bit more spicy, feels a little bit more woodsy compared to the original scent, slightly less sweet, or you know, just a slightly darker and more mature take on Y EDP. You still get the same players, you know, get the fruity sweetness, the spiciness, the woodsiness, but again, slightly darker. Very, very cheap fragrance to this day. This remains one of the cheapest Latafa scents that you can get and also has a very decent performance, well above average. And as I said, this is probably my most uh, favorite uh, inspiration of YEDP that I have in my collection. The next one that I'm going to show you is again one of the older Latafa releases. It's from the Hayati line and it's called Hayati Gold Elixir. I really like the bottle design in here and the color combination. This fragrance is another not exactly clone, not exactly heavily inspired, but uh, like a take on an original DNA. In this case, I'm talking of, about the original DNA of Code Profumo from Armani. It's fruity, it's leathery, it's sweet, it's powdery, slightly spicy, uh, you know, all around a very, very enjoyable scent. It's like a more unisex take on the Code Profumo DNA. I really like the original fragrance. I like the inspiration of Latafa that they have done with Gold Elixir. Performance is above average. Price again very very low. The only problem with this fragrance is that this, you know it's not a very hard projection scent. It's more of an intimate type of projector. But other than that, I've been really really enjoying uh, this one. The next one is again an older Latafa release, and again one of the very cheapest uh, Latafa fragrances that you can actually get, and it's called Rams Silver. And this one is very heavily inspired by Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Mo. I love the original scent. I love every good uh, alternative uh, inspiration of the original scent that I have in my collection. And Latafa Ram Silver to, the, to this day remains one of those hidden gems that not too many people actually talk about. But this is a very, very nice take on the original scent. It's a little bit more simplified compared to the original, lacks a bit of the freshness uh, that you get out of the original in the opening. This is more like a vanillic take on the original DNA, but still very, very sexy, very youthful uh, and very sweet fragrance, very playful fragrance. Performance, especially after some maceration, became really, really nice. And all around, this is again a very, very nice take on an original DNA that I absolutely love. And again, the best thing out of all is the fact that this to this day remains super, super cheap. And another one of those, uh, you know, older releases from the House of Latafa will be up next and it's called Asa. This is one of the first Savage Elixir clones to hit the markets. And to this day, this is probably the most well-known Elixir alternative that you can get. To this day, I think this remains a very, very nice offering from Latafa. Pretty close to the original scent, again more of a twist, more of an inspiration rather than a straight up clone of a, or a copy of the original fragrance. This again it feels like a slightly sweeter, slightly more vanillic take on the original DNA. Lacks a bit of the spiciness that you get out of uh, you know, Savage Elixir, but all around very very enjoyable fragrance. Again another scent from Latafa that after some maceration became really really strong and really good performer. And again, like with the first uh, few that I already showed you, another good thing about the SAT is the fact that the price of this one remained constant uh, throughout uh, you know, the past couple of years, despite the hype and the, you know, the only attention that this fragrance uh, you know, has garnered. To this day, I think this is one of the best alternatives to Savage Elixir. 
and again one more you know uh, older original Latafa release from a few years ago that's called Amir Al Oud Intense Oud. This one is inspired by Mesa Margellas, Margellas by The Fireplace and it's a really nice inspiration of the original fragrance. Feels a little bit less smoky compared to the original but the main players here are the smoky notes, the sweet notes, the vanilla, the burnt sugar note and also quite a lot of woodsy notes with a hint of spiciness as well. Very very cozy, uh, very uh, nice scent for the cold weather. I have, uh, this is to this day remains one of my most favorite Latafa fragrances. Again, pretty similar to the original scent, feels like a little bit, uh, you know, sweeter take on the original DNA. Performance is fantastic, projection is very nice, perfectly unisex and another fragrance that to this day remains very, very cheap and I think uh, is a bit of a hidden gem when it comes to Latafa fragrances. The next one is from the original Latafa Pride line, the first version of the Latafa Pride line and it's called Alkiam Silver. And this one is uh, very heavily inspired by Bulgari's Tiger. And in my opinion to this day from what I've tried this is the closest thing to Tiger that you can get scent wise. Very very nice, very masculine, fresh and versatile scent, has a lot of uh, citrusy uh, freshness and sweetness in the opening, a very nice grapefruit note, some other freshness like a bergamot, a bit of spiciness, some oodziness, uh, quite a lot of musk as well, has a bit of an old school vibe to it but again very masculine, very versatile and with a very very good projection. The problem with, with this one is the fact that it's a little bit more expensive compared to some other Latafa fragrances and even some of the newer members of the Pride line, this to this day remains a little bit more expensive. All in all though, a great alternative for people who are looking for an alternative to Bulgari's Tiger or just simply a nice, fresh, masculine, uh, versatile scent that just works all year round. Next, another one of those uh, members of the original Latafa Pride line and another one of those fragrances from Latafa that to this day remains one of my most favorite scents from that house. And it's called Ishk Al Shuk Gold. And this one is very heavily inspired by Rosendo's Matthew number no. 5. Can also serve as a distant alternative to YSL Baby Cat, but it's closer and inspired by Rosendo Matthew number no. 5. Very, very similar to the original scent, uh, a very interesting scent profile that carries a bit of a Middle Eastern edge to it. You got lots of uh, sweet notes, you got a strong uh, suede leather note, some spiciness, a bit of musk, also um, quite a lot of smokiness. Very unisex scent that uh, has absolutely fantastic performance and projection. This one, with especially after some maceration, became a real monster when it comes to performance, especially longevity uh, on skin and clothes. Very, very good quality and all around a fantastic offering from the House of Latafa. The next one is one of the relatively new releases from uh, the brand of Latafa from late last year, I think, and it's called Liam or some places market this as Liam Grey. And this one has been inspired by BDK's Gris Charnel. Very, very similar to the original fragrance, very interesting scent profile, perfectly unisex. Got um, lots of uh, fruity sweetness from a fig note. There's a bit of a green touch, a black uh, tea note in here. There's some spiciness from a cardamom note. You get a bit of a powderness from an iris note, quite a lot of sweetness from uh, vanilla and tonka bean notes. A very, very interesting, uh, delicate scent profile that uh, is uh, also very, very versatile, can be worn pretty much all year round. Performance is very good, projection is nice, price has remained relatively low uh, to this day and all around a very interesting and unisex uh, scent, unisex offering from the House of Latafa. My next suggestion will be one of those recent uh, Latafa fragrances that I got into my collection. It's from the Badia Al Oud line and it's called Honor and Glory. I really like the bottle design and the color combination here and this is a very interesting and unique scent from the brand of Latafa. It has a very nice, interesting, sweet, at the same time fresh pineapple note in the opening with an interesting, very interesting creme brulee note that adds a bit of a sweetness, quite a bit of sweetness and a gourmand touch to this fragrance. It's spicy, it's quite sweet as well on the dry down, there's vanillic and amber sweetness. You get sandalwood, a very, very interesting scent that again is uh, very, very versatile in my opinion, perfectly unisex, just works all year round and maybe the only time that I wouldn't use this one is uh, in the midst of summer throughout the hotter days. Other than that, very, very versatile and can be worn pretty much uh, all year round. Very good performance, uh, very good projection 
a little bit more expensive but still very affordable comes nicely packaged and all around a very interesting and unique offering from the brand of Latafa. Next suggestion comes from the uh, Alna Shama line and it's called Alna Shama Caprice and this one is uh, inspired by Lanoid Delon Blue Electric from YSL. A very famous uh, and well-known fragrance in the community that uh, is pretty hard to find sometimes because some people say it's uh, already been discontinued, other people just simply know that uh, the original is not sold throughout the world, only on uh, some selected markets. But this is a nice way to get close to the original fragrance. You get the original DNA of the Ilano de Lome line with added freshness just like uh, Blue Electric has. This feels a little bit less fresh in the opening, the ginger note is not as prominent as the original fragrance, this feels a little bit more powdery, also feels a little bit soapy, but other than that it's pretty similar to the original, has very nice quality, beats the original when it comes to performance, both longevity and especially projection, carries a low price and all around is a very very nice masculine and sexy scent from the brand of Latafa. My next suggestion comes from the Mahir line of fragrances and it's called Mahir Legacy. It comes in this unique looking bottle that's super heavy and can be used as a weapon. And this is a very interesting take on Parfum de Marly's uh, Sedley DNA. Pretty similar to the original fragrance, but if you're not familiar with Sedley, this is a very fresh, minty, citrusy, uh, you know, scent that has quite a lot of uh, green notes as well, some spiciness all around, uh, you know, a hint of fruitiness, all around a very, very fresh and very light and easy to wear fragrance and scent. Performance actually is a very decent considering uh, how fresh of a scent profile this carries. It's super versatile, can be worn all year round and all around it's a very very nice offering from Latafa and if you can get a good deal on this then just makes it uh, pretty much a must have in my opinion. And now time to show you one of those uh, you know couple of uh, fragrances, uh, two fragrances that are pretty similar to each other and both come from Latafa and I'm talking about in this case about the OG Camera, Hamra and the Hamra Kawa Flanker. Now, scent-wise, they're pretty similar to each other. They serve pretty much the same purpose, in my opinion. But uh, on one hand, the OG Hamra is a little bit sweeter, maybe a little bit more unisex, even maybe to some people may lean a little bit to the feminine side. And uh, Hawa is uh, like a slightly more modern mo modern take on the that DNA that has an added coffee note that just makes the whole scent profile uh, a little bit more interesting, in my opinion. Pretty similar to each other and you don't really need to own both of them, you can just pick one of them. If it's up to me, uh, you know, I would pick up Hawa because uh, I think it has a slightly more interesting scent and in my experience, personal at least, this is slightly better performing. Longevity is pretty similar, but this is a harder projecting fragrance, at least from, uh, you know, my own experience. Prices are pretty similar to each other, so if you have uh, ever wondered about uh, trying out Hamra, then definitely, in my opinion, try uh, also try out uh, Kawa, because I think this is a little bit more interesting. But the reality is that uh, whichever one you pick, you won't make a mistake, because both of them are absolutely great. Fantastic scents for the cold weather with fantastic performance. And the next couple of fragrances, you know, two fragrances that are pretty similar to each other, will be... Uh, Alna Shama on one hand and the, on the other hand Vintage Radio. Both of them are very heavily inspired by Initials Paragon. In my opinion, Vintage Radio gets slightly closer to the original scent, but the difference here between the two is uh, very, very slim uh, and uh, it doesn't really matter which one you choose because both of them do an absolutely fantastic job. I really like the original scent, I really like those two inspirations. You get a nice, sweet, juicy plum note in both of them with a lot of woodsiness, some lavender, some spiciness. Uh, it's a very sweet and uh, at the same time kind of fresh and woodsy scent profile that's perfectly unisex in both cases in my opinion. Fragrance, those two fragrances just work all year round again get very good performance, get very good projection, both of them are actually pretty cheap. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. If I have to choose just one, I would go with Vintage Radio, but the reality is, uh, you know, my advice will be just go for the one that you can find cheaper. And my last suggestion for today's video will be one of the very latest Latafa fragrances that I added to my collection, that's called Kaet Intense. Now. When I did the review of this fragrance, some people commented in the comment section that this has already been discontinued. I'm not sure if that's true, but if that's true, then this is a real shame. I hope that it's not been discontinued because this is a really, really nice fragrance. It's inspired by Givenchy Gentleman's Reserve Privé, carries a very similar scent profile, but this also feels like a 
uh, you know, Latafa have uh, thrown in the mix a bit of uh, your own intense uh, vibes uh, to it as well. The original also feels uh, somewhat similar to your own intense, but here Kayet Intense actually feels closer to you know, has a little bit stronger your own intense vibes. You get that very warm scent profile of the original fragrance with lots of oods, lots of uh, powdery uh, makeup iris, a bit of a boozy vibe, maybe a hint of a tobacco note, some chestnut. It's a very warm, very uh, sophisticated uh, fragrance that just works really nicely in cold weather, especially at night time. But again, a little bit more powdery, a little bit more irisy take on the Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé DNA. Performance is very good, uh, projection is nice, it's almost perfectly unisex and if you can find this one, this usually tends to be pretty pretty cheap. Again, I hope that this has not been discontinued because my last suggestion in today's video is called Kaet Intense. And so guys, in today's video I showed you a total of 14 Latafa fragrances that at this current time, midway through 2024, are worthy of being checked out. I hope that you found this video interesting, if you did, give it a like and I also hope that you're going to join me in the next one. And until then, stay safe and bye-bye.